Hello everyone, it's Nancy Bastien. And I've been trying to get my little things done for, that's why I haven't been recording, for the challenge for the Pink Poodle Crafts, the gener Generosity Envelope Journal. And I draw a blank when it comes to decorating things because I'm not a frou-frou girl, so it just, I don't know, it just doesn't come out. But anyway, I've been trying, I've been trying and trying and trying. I'll show you what I got so far. Ooh, I think I put too much um, thought, thought process into it. And I don't know where my other one is. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Okay. Now this one I want to make fairy and I got a whole bunch of fairy stuff cut up and I painted this all fairy looking but I think I'm just over over processing it in my head and I can't seem to get what I want on the page on the pages. I have all this paper stuff that I got from Lavinia Stamps. I ordered the wrong stuff. I thought I was ordering stamps and I was ordering paper. And that one fell on the floor. And I will get it. So there's that one I'm trying to get accomplished. And I don't really want to come on and record it because well, it takes me forever, plus I um, want it to be a surprise for the person who gets to see it. Now, this is my Christmas one, and I only have one page done on it. All the rest of them are empty, and I'm having a hard time deciding. You know, I have this whole thing full of stuff and stickers and you would think that I would be capable of but I want it to look so pretty and I'm afraid that it's not it's just going to look like plain old frou-frou you know but anyway um, I got a couple things from Dollar Tree a few minutes ago went to Dollar Tree and I need to run upstairs I think I have one more thing I need to show but I left it upstairs so I'll be right back. So I ordered this from Amazon the quick stick um, I saw I've wanted one of these but I didn't quite know what they were called and then I saw Stacy from Pink Poodle Crafts using one the other night and I thought that's what it is called the quick stick so I ordered one of these but I don't want you to get confused with an Amazon order for a Dollar Tree. So this came from Amazon. And that's the only thing from Amazon that I ordered crafty. But I ordered some clothes for my little dachshund so she won't get so cold outside. And she's cold on the inside too. So I ordered her some t-shirts. I hope they fit her. So anyway, I went to the Dollar Tree. And I got me a kitty's book, you know, the board book, because Dawn is doing one, and I, I've always wanted to do this. I can't remember. Years ago, somebody else was doing one, and I bought some books, but I can't find them. So I want to get in on painting the board book. But... I need to put everything aside until I get this challenge done. Then they had some of these box, um, tins. The long tins, which I thought would be good to put stuff in, you know, stuff. Crafting stuff, you know, all that stuff that we need. Like, put your glue sticks in there, like that stuff pencils 
you know, stuff, stuff, stuff. And then why I was searching for how, well, autumn stuff. I searched that whole store and guess what? They have autumn stuff out now. Duh. So I got me some autumn leaves. That's what I bought was just some autumn leaves. So I got this one I think is caught in the staple. Yep. I bought that one. It has some I think that's a burlap. And then these are some sparkly ones. And these are just some tiny little ones. So I got me some maple leaf, maple leaf, and oak leaf. That's what I got. And then I need to move this down here. I got a plumber coming tomorrow because I got a stopped up sink since Saturday night. I've had a stop a kitchen sink so my dishwasher won't run through the because it the sink is clogged up. Oh my gosh. And he wasn't gonna come till Wednesday and I said, You got you mean to tell me I gotta sit here with half washed dishes in my dishwasher for another day two days? And he said, Oh, I will cancel the person that I'm going to tomorrow and I'll be at your house tomorrow. So he'll be here at nine o'clock in the morning. Yay for me. Now I kind of went crazy. I I just kind of went crazy. So forgive me, but I kind of went crazy. I got me some calendars because remember we did um, that I think her name is One Happy Birdie. I think that's what it is. She gets Dollar Tree um, calendars and then she punches the back parts and makes embellishments out of it. So I went nuts. But this has a smaller calendar also. And I don't think it's the same as the calendar, the big calendar. I think it's a little different. Let me get it out and we'll see. Because this says Tropical Beach. And this says Sunset. And these are just little pictures. See? Oh, beautiful. And they have the smaller pictures on the back. So you get a bonus. Ooh, pretty, pretty. Anyway, yeah. So they're different from what this calendar is. So I got tropical beaches. I got landscapes. Now this is going to be the same, I think. I got landscapes, and that has all the pretty, 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 pretties that you punch out with a whatever kind of punch you want, and you make embellishments. And I got kittens and cats. These have all the cats, grown-up cats, and I guess the kittens are in this little one. And isn't this gorgeous? Isn't that, won't that be gorgeous on a book cover? I think it's gorgeous. And all these beautiful pictures are on the inside. And these will be great too. For ephemera. For ephemera. And this is Wild Heart and Free Spirit. And it has sayings on the back. Bravery will lead you to your this destiny, destiny, I guess I can't read that. You are, you are your love. You are loved. You are loved. That's right. Patience is a companionship of wisdom. Fortune flavors the brave. The earth laps in flowers. Dream a little bigger. Be kind and be brave. 
believe there is good in the world. Wild heart and free spirit follow the dream. Love, faith, hope, and grace upon grace. I thought those were just gorgeous. So I got that one. Then these don't have that bonus in them. Then I got the flamingo. Love the journey. And this one has sayings on the back too. But oh, aren't they pretty, 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 pretty for a dollar? And this was Let Your Light Shine. And it has sayings on the back too. These will make great, great embellishments. And Nature's Beauty. This has all kinds of birds and butterflies. Beautiful stuff. See that? Birds, butterflies. Punch them out. And then, of course, since I had kitty cats, I had to have puppies. Puppy doggies. This is the big dogs. This is going to be the puppies. And I don't see my little dachshunds on here. And I don't see poodles either. Oh, well. That's cute. Little cocker. These are so cute. These will make cute things. And then I got blossoms and butterflies. This is going to have butterflies in it. And this is going to have all the blossoms. Isn't that gorgeous? I want to see what the butterflies are going to look like. Just make a little slit. So even if I don't do all this in 2018, I'll have them for a couple of years. Yay. Look at that butterfly. And then you have the smaller ones on the back. Yep. Gorgeous. Look at that one. Never seen a butterfly like that. That one's beautiful. Ooh, look at that one. It's got eyes looking at you. Mm, this is one of my favorites, Monarch. Oh, look at that one. And that one. Ooh, look at that one. Beautiful. I'm going to have some beautiful stuff to glue in my glue book when I get it finished. I quit doing my glue books so I could make those other things. <sighs> anyway, there we go. So that's the haul. That's my little Dollar Tree haul. But now what I want to do is I want to paint some envelopes with you guys while I have you on here. And I'm going to do these envelopes in autumn colors. You know, because I bought leaves. I bought autumn leaves. Oh my gosh, what's this? I hate this driver scan thing. Comes up on my screen. Now, the lighting in here is... Um, because it's night and I don't usually film at night and I can't get my lighting adjusted quite right so I am sorry for it I hope that it's going to be okay but because I don't get up till the middle of the afternoon and I just don't get things done I had to run to the store and that takes all my time and if I get up early tomorrow, now I have to get up at 9 o'clock for that plumber. Ugh. Ugh. I just probably won't even go to sleep. I'll just stay up. That's about the time I start sleeping. So for these envelopes, you have to seal them. Then you paint them. Then you fold them. Then you decorate them. And, oh, you cut them open. And, yeah, so we're going to paint some. 
like right now and I have paint and glue and stuff everywhere everywhere so oh I have these autumn color paints that I'm going to use this is burnt orange and let's see how am I going to do this I guess I have cut out snowflakes that are sticking everywhere sticking sticking I need to get another sheet of paper for my glue for my paint my glue my paint I should have put this stuff away that stuff's hard to pick up off of this mat okay I'm gonna put some orange come on orange come on oh maybe it's clogged yep I haven't used it so it, they get clogged when you don't use them oh my goodness everything's sticking to this because it stirred up glue look yummy yuck a piece of it went down in there yeah guys use your paints or this is what happens to them they dry up and go to boogers booger paint I can see I need to shake it I've never used this burnt orange ever so I need to get them used up this is a good thing to use them up on and I have some uh, well this one's not even open I have some this is spicy mustard and I thought that was a good autumn color so we will see how dried up that is sorta kinda Oh, I mixed orange in it. I contaminated it. Oh well. It's okay. It'll work. It'll be alright. Y'all have probably been watching Stacy do all this. I have a brown burnt sienna, and this one I've never used either. I didn't know that these had packages stuff on them or I would have got it off before I came on to do this and I have a kind of a reddish deep burgundy and I haven't used this one either this one's a new one My garbage needs to go out. It's pretty full. So anyway, I have this pack of paper from Bow Bunny. And that's where I kind of got the colors from on here. I could not find this bluish teal color. I've been searching in my stash for that, but I couldn't find it, so I'm not going to worry about, about that. So, let's get painting, shall we? Get our groove on and get to painting, because that's what we need to do here. So it's just paint wherever, put some somewhere. And it all turns out really pretty. 
pretty pretty when you're done. At first I thought, oh man, these are so ugly, but I kept working on them. I kept going and they worked out to be pretty, pretty cool. I wasn't going to do a fall one, and then I thought, well, I probably should do a fall one. I'm going to go into brown. I should do the fall because, you know, fall colors. And then I was surprised to see what I had been looking for forever was those um, leaves. I told you I bought the garland and cut all the leaves off of that, but these leaves will be better. Okay, I'm going to go in with the orange. Now I have some brighter orange that I might use, and I have some brighter yellow. We'll see. Okay, I'm going to rinse my brush so I can go in with that yellow. I wanted to make more than just two of these. because I wanted to send them out to several people, not just to two. But like I said, I don't do frou-frou. So it's been really hard on me to get the frou-frou on here. All right, I'm gonna use a brighter yellow. This is Cad Cadmon yellow. It's just a little brighter. And I'm going to save a little bit of space for a little bit of brighter orange. And I have Spice Pumpkin. That sounds like a fall color, right? Pumpkin. Okay. That's pretty. Okay, so you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, they're so ugly. Well, wait, it gets better. Okay. I'm going to dry these. I'll be back when they're dry, and we're going to turn them over, paint them some more. Okay, we're going to do it again on the back side. And... Rinse my brush. I'm going to change it up a little bit and go with the lighter. The lighter colors first. I don't know why. They'll get buried. So, not much has gone on in the 
Vastin family. Since I last came on and showed you a haul, seems like that's all I'm doing right now is hauling, but I'm not. I'm really not. I'm really trying to work on these undercover. I'm not videotaping them. I'm doing them undercover. Because I just don't know what to put on them. Maybe it'll go a little faster now that I've kind of started a little bit. You're not, I'm not wanting to make them uh, bulky for the mail, so I'm trying to stay with flat embellishments. You know what I mean? Jelly bean. I'm kind of doing this one in little spots. In little bitty spots. Ooh, I don't know if that will. Maybe I better rinse that out before I go into the yellows. I might make some brownish mud. I think I like scraping it on better than I do brushing it on, but it's okay. It'll be okay. I do promise it'll be all right. Okay, I'm going to go in with this orange. Make sure I get it under the little flappies. Yeah, I do like scraping it better because then you don't get these brush marks. It's okay. It'll be all right. It's going to start looking like an autumn leaf. Okay, rinse that off. Go in with my bright yellow. going to need a little more of that.
All right, now I have some red and brown left. So I'm going to go in with some red here. And then some brown. Alrighty. Okay, I'm going to dry that up. And I'm going to paint this on my drop paper right here. And I'll have pretty 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 drop paper I'll be back when these are dry okay they're all dry and now I'm going to go in with some stencil some stenciling and I have this weird bubbly looking thing and so I thought I'd go in with some of that and I'm going to stick with mostly the monochromatic colors that are on here whether they get seen or on the page, it's okay. Because I'm going in with a little bit of green, which we have it. We're introducing a new color, which is okay. Because that's autumn. Gotta have some green in with the oranges and the browns and the reds and like that. Let's see, I don't have any stories to tell. No stories, and then I get quiet. Okay. So I'm just going to do the front side first, and then I'll go in and do the back side. Okay, there's that one. Now I have some, this is Tim Holtz Blossom. And I'm going to come in with some of that. With some lighter color yellow. Just a teeny bit. Don't need much. Just to kind of get some patterns on there. Patterns of stenciling stuff and stamping stuff. Always make sure things look more beautiful. It does. I've been told that. I 
I don't think I have any fall ribbon. I'll have to use some sari. Some sari ribbon. Okay, so now we have that one. Now I want to do a little bit of, um, I wanted to do some script, but I don't think I do. I don't think I want that one. So I'm going to go in with these Tim Holtz. Um, yeah, they're Tim Holtz squares or not circles. They're circles. They're circles. They're not squares. And I'm going to paint some paint on this. And this is brick. I'm using Heritage Brick for this. And I just want some here and there and nowhere. Just like that. And I'm used to using my stamps in um, ink instead of paint, so sometimes I push too hard. That's pretty pretty. I'm liking it. I'm likey liking. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to use of that one, but I am going to get a baby wipe and take some time to clean that off before it dries on there. I will be using it on the other side. Okay. So now I want some of these honeycombs, and I think I want these in <sighs> white. Do I want them in white? Do I want to add white to this? Mm, I don't think so. I think I'm going to stick with maybe yellow, but I'm going to do a darker the darker yellow. Well, that didn't work out so hot. So I don't think I'm going to use that one. That's okay. We don't need to use this. And paint's flicking off of it. Alright, let's do our circles with our bottle caps with the yellow. Okay. 
can't see it too much, but that's okay. It's there. I don't think I want to bring in white to the mix. See how pretty it gets once you get all these goodies on there. Can't see it. Okay, now I'm going to go in with a little bitty one, and I'm going to go in with the um, lighter yellow. You could see that one much better. I got quiet. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Other than this is fun, fun, fun. I'm liking it. Alrighty. I'm going to dry this and come back and we'll do the other side. Okay, here we go again. We're doing the back side. I'm hoping I don't have to get out more paint. Oh, oops. A boo boo. That's okay. I can have a oops. It won't matter. Got the green down. Now we'll do these.
good on that one. I'm going to have to get some more paint. Was that the cadmium? I think it was the cadmium yellow. Nope, it wasn't the cadmium. It must have been the spicy. Was it? I don't know. We'll go with this. It's going to be a bit brighter. Now what did we do? Now we did uh, this with the the brick color. Okay, that's good. Good enough for that. Now I have to take this to the sink and scrub it, I think. Okay, now we're going to do the bottle caps. It came out better, probably because I had more paint on my thing.
Okay, and then we did the little ones in, what did we do the little ones in? The brighter yellow. Okie dokie, I think that's good. So I'm going to dry this out and then we'll be back and cut them and fold them. And I will see you in another minute. Alrighty, so now I'm going to cut a piece, a strip of it off with some decorative scissors. And I found out that these ones are the best to use. So I'm just going to take just a little bit off well, like that. So you want them open. Make sure I get them all the same orientation. Okay. Sliding off of my donut. I don't get on it, I sit on it right or something, and then I slide off of it. And I have to sit on it because I have a tailbone that gives me tons of grief. Because I fell down years ago when I was rollerblading with my kids and I went trump, boom flat on my behinder and it was not fun Oops. I should have been more careful but I wasn't and everything sticks to this mat so I'm gonna be getting rid of it on here I'm gonna clean off this hole <sighs> shooting caboodle and get rid of this mat and go back to what I was using before okay so we got them open now we're going to fold them and we're going to fold them down to they're about um, like that I don't know how much that is if you want me to, I'll measure it. About three eighths of an inch. And then I'm going to get my trusty bone folder out. And I'm going to fold it just like that. Then I'm going to take the next one, make sure I have them all, these doodadies at the top. And I'm going to put it about three eighths of an inch from the bottom of that one. 
You see what I'm doing? You want me to bring in a little bit closer? That's good. So we have three eighths, three eighths, and we fold it over. Okay. Use our trusty little bone folder and put our scissors away so they're not in our way. Okay. Now we're going to take the third one. We're going to put it about three eighths of an inch away from the bottom. Make sure it's even with each other and bring this one down and fold and score our burnish with our folder. So there we have our little starting of our journal. Okay. No, I don't know. I have sorry ribbon. And it's all in a big old clump like this, just like Elizabeth's. So, do I want to use a piece of orange? Mm. Green. Green might be really pretty on there. Or brown, no. I just keep doing this and going through it till I find something. Well, what happened to that other piece of green? Because that's too small. See, they're all sewed together. I think it's going to have to be orange. I have some yellow. I have a little bit of yellow. Hmm. I'm really not too happy with this sorry ribbon. But it is what it is. And I think I'm going to go with the orange. So I will cut it apart from this blue. And I'll cut this little end off that had yellow sewn to it. Toss that. All right, we got that. I keep trying to look for more. I don't know, I'm kind of liking that green. What do y'all think, guys? This is kind of a pinkish, peachy orange, peachy color instead of really an orange. I'm thinking the green now that I look at it. Because I think that orange is too pe peachy colored. 
peachy. All right. Hopefully that'll be enough. Okay. I'll just put it back in that bag. Oops. I'm having an avalanche here, guys. Getting my pokey tool. And I gotta get my needle. Hmm, my husband's cooking something I smell really good. I wonder what it is. Yummy, it smells good. Okay. So I'm just gonna poke a hole about right here and one over here like so. My needle is bigger than the hole I poked. <laughs> Hopefully this is gonna be enough ribbon. I do have some, oh, you know what I do have? I have some green ribbon. I don't think that's going to be enough. Let's see if it will. I'm going to go in through this side. Oh. Go over here. Make sure they're all together. Hmm. I'm having difficulties, folks. I'm having difficulties. Houston, we're having trouble. Oh my gosh. That's making my holes way too big. Get my pliers out. Okay. Well, we don't have much ribbon to work with. So I'll just have to tie it in a knot. And there we go. Now, I can either do the orientation this way, which I think I might do, like this, instead of having it go like this.
But this is all I'm going to do on this video, and we will come back, and I'll be embellishing it on the next video real soon, because this one's getting too long. So I will talk to you all later, and if you like this video, please give me a thumbs 